Remember Impactful Ed? He's global head of reward at a manufacturing firm, and he's got a problem. And for once, it's not his dog. Ed's in a meeting with the CEO one day, and the CEO says, I have a question for you. How do you know if our reward programs are actually working? Ed says, well, I've benchmarked them against the market, so I know we're paying our people at the right level, and we took our employees' views into account when we designed our strategy. But the CEO says, that's only part of the answer. It tells me that we pay competitively, and we listen to our people. But it doesn't tell me if the investment we make in them is paying off. And that means 30% of our total revenues go on something we don't know is working. So the CEO asks Ed to find out two things. One, do our reward programs help our business to achieve its objectives? Do they motivate people to perform and encourage the right behaviors? Are they affordable? And two, are we getting the returns we want for the money we spend on our people? Do our reward programs make our people more productive and our business more profitable? As ever, Ed wants to make an impact. So he asks Hay Group to help him. And we say, your CEO is a very wise man. Benchmarking pay levels for a subset of your jobs is only part of the answer. How about benchmarking what you get for the money you invest in reward? What's the payoff in terms of revenues, profits, and hitting your big targets as a business? And how do these returns stack up against your competitors? We call this reward effectiveness. So we do some digging to find out how well the reward programs support the strategy of the business, engage employees, and improve performance. We explore questions like, is the mix of rewards right for the organization? How many employees does it have? What do they cost? And are they at the right levels for the work they do? And is there a clear link between reward and what the business is trying to achieve? Then we dig some more. We assess the total value of remuneration, the total cost of all reward, both on its own and compared to revenue and profits, the reward strategy and employee perceptions of how effective it is, as well as the organization's return on reward. And we compare all of that with the competition. So what do we find? Well, some pretty positive stuff. The reward strategy supports what the business is trying to achieve. The reward program takes the needs of the different employee groups into account and overall, people are content with what they get for working for the firm. All of which translates into profitability that's above the norm for the sector. And that's great news, right? But hang on a second. Profitability is high, but so are labor costs. 40% above the industry average, to be precise. And that eats into profit per employee, which at $25,000 is $15,000 lower than the company's main competitor. Employee perceptions of the reward program are also relatively low, particularly the link between pay and performance. So Hay Group and Ed go to see the CEO, and he says, that's very interesting, but what can we do about it? And we say, well, here's what not to do. Make snap decisions you'll regret. Some companies leap straight into laying off staff as a way to bring costs down. But that can backfire, sending morale down the chute and kissing goodbye to a lot of profit on legs. The answer is to change your perspective. Rather than thinking about cutting costs, think about allocating them better. That means using strategic workforce planning to get five things right for your business. Firstly, right size. Your pay may be right, but do you have too many people? Second, right shape. Is your organization top heavy? In other words, are there too many managers and not enough doers? Third, right place. Your manufacturing is in a relatively high-cost area, but your biggest competitors base theirs in lower-cost locations. Should you be thinking about moving? Fourth, right skills. Maybe you've got the right number of people, but do they have the right skills and capabilities? Are your recruitment policies right? And fifth, right cost. Are you paying at the right levels for the performance you're getting? Once you've worked all that out, you can be truly smart about what you spend and how you spend it. And as Ed now knows, that makes CEOs very happy.